What's up, family? Welcome to E3 Crypto. If you're new to the channel, thank you for being here. Consider subscribing right now. If you've been here before, welcome back. It's good to see you again. In this video, we're going to talk about the Ethereum London hard fork. We're going to talk about unstoppable domains. It's an article right here. Ethereum London hard fork to go live tomorrow, August 5th. Finally, the awaited Ethereum London hard fork implementation has been timed. It will go live on August 5th. With this upcoming event, Ethereum will eventually go through the hard fork in two distinct ways. In this essence, the, the Ethereum chain was split to enable networks to battle with new tokens, and there will not be the issuance of new tokens. During that time, most exchanges will begin to withdraw to take withdrawals and deposits again for ETH and ERC-20 tokens. So in this article right here, we got Circle and Unstoppable Domains doing a partnership to introduce username-based USDC payments. So that's, they're trying to make it easier for retail and mass adoption, make it easier for people to send crypto and receive crypto through email versus uh, copy-pasting. Let's listen to this article. Circle and unstoppable domains to introduce username-based USDC payments. The bid to introduce human readable as an alternative to the usual lengthy alphanumeric crypto wallet address system is set to achieve another milestone following the recent partnership between Circle and unstoppable domains. According to an announcement issued on Wednesday, unstoppable domains, a blockchain domain name provider, and USD coin, USDC, Stablecoin issuer Circle are collaborating to release readable coin usernames for USDC transfers. As part of the partnership, both companies will collaborate to enable support for coin username extensions across wallets and crypto exchanges that support the popular stablecoin. Under this arrangement, USDC transfers will become akin to sending an email, likely mitigating the problem of transferring coins to the wrong address, especially for the not so tech savvy. Right. You know, uh, whenever I send crypto, you know, it's, 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 it always crossed my mind, hope, hoping I don't mess up, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, you got to be on point because you will, if you, if you do anything wrong, you can lose all your money. So I understand what they're trying to do. That's a great, that's a good move, I think. And especially Unstoppable Domains don't get much talk. They don't talk about this too much on YouTube and uh different in the press and stuff like that. I don't hear too much about it. But I know I got me about eight or nine domains. If you don't have any, you know, Google Unstoppable Domains and uh, see if you can get you something over there because you can do so much with them. And you, you, so it's a one-time payment. You own the domain. Once you buy it, you own it forever. You can build on top of it. You can, you can design a website, a blockchain website. They can never be taken down. You know, uh, you can build a social media site on the block on the on the uh, blockchain, and nobody can stop it. But let's go to this next article. Senators move to exempt Bitcoin crypto miners from proposed U.S. tax rules. Not only that, they're gonna try to uh, exempt. Uh, they're gonna also exempt people that create tokens like people that code let's see supporters of the crypto industry in this u.s senate filed an amendment to to a, the bipartisan infrastructure bill to make clear that miners and providers of crypto services will not be required to follow new tax reporting rules on crypto brokers that's like exchanges centralized exchanges also let's see the amendment will clarify that brokers only mean those persons who conduct transactions on exchanges where consumers buy, sell, and trade digital assets. That's pretty much it. I, don't wanna, I ain't going to go through the whole article. But uh, they are looking to tax, looking to tax us, man. Let's go to the next article. We got Russia grants 200000 to build tool for tracing crypto transactions. So Russia is trying to get into the the regular the regulation race. It looks like 
Let's let's tap into this and see what they're talking about. Russia grants two hundred thousand dollars to build tool for tracing crypto transactions. Federal authorities in Russia are moving forward with a plan to closely monitor cryptocurrency activity for illicit transactions and de-anonymize crypto users' identities. The Russian Federal Financial Monitoring Service, Rosfine Monitoring, has selected a contractor for developing a platform for tracking cryptocurrency activity. According to data from Russia's state procurement website, the country will allocate 14.7 million rubles, 200,000 US dollars from its budget to create a module for monitoring and analyzing cryptocurrency transactions using Bitcoin, BTC. <laughs> According to the official data, the procurement contract was granted to a company referred to as RCO, which is reportedly indirectly backed by the Russian largest bank, Spur, formerly known as Sperbank. Under the contract's documentation, RCO will be tasked with building a monitoring tool for tracing movement of digital financial assets maintaining a database of cryptocurrency wallets involved in illicit activities, as well as monitoring crypto users' behavior in order to identify them. Hmm. They trying their best, man. Good luck, Russia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't understand, man. It don't matter. It don't matter what they do. For one, they can't tax us until you sell. So it don't matter. What, you can have millions of dollars in your crypto wallets and different things, and they can't do nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? Until you sell some of it. And they can only tax whatever you sell. So what's all this monitoring for? So what? If I got a trillion dollars in USDT, ain't nothing you can do about it until I sell some of it. All right, man. That's what's up. Let's go over here and look at Bitcoin. Looks like Bitcoin going up. We got a green day. We have four red days in a row. Now we got a green day. On the RSI on the daily, we are at 60. I don't want us to get too hot because I don't want it to fall back down. We gotta we gotta hold it up. We gotta keep we gotta stay up. But she's looking good right now. Once we break 40, what's this? 42,798. Once we break over 43,000, man, we should be, I say 44,000. We should be looking real nice. The market looking good right now. We, we're really green right now. Let's go to Coin uh, Gecko. What's this right here? Meta Hero. Let's do a refresh. Meta Hero fell pretty far yesterday. Had me a little bit worried. I ain't sell though. I was looking at my money like, come on now. <laughs> Let's go over here to CoinGecko, man, and uh, check out Bitcoin and everything. So Bitcoin is down 0.4% over the past the past hour. Made everything think about it. Bitcoin just checked everything, made sure ain't nothing trying to go too fast, I guess. When ETH start going real fast, Bitcoin always dump. It's like they don't want. It's like somebody don't want Ethereum to catch up to Bitcoin and market cap. Cause we almost at halfway. We almost halfway there right now. We real close. But uh, we are gonna see what happened, man. The market looking good. Honestly, it's looking. It's recovering again from the minor dip we just had. But that's that's beautiful, man. I appreciate everybody for watching the video. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'm going to catch you in the next video. Peace.